Okay, so welcome to another part of the New Brighton Capital Educational Series. And in this video, we're going to be going through how do you generate your annual reports on interactive brokers. So just jump on to uh, the login page. And if you just follow the green circles through this video, it'll point to uh, yeah, where you need to click and where you need to add information. So just go into the login there on the top right, uh, go into the portal login, and uh, you will have logged in before, so you would have known the details there just don't forget to put in the uh, the numbers or the values that relate to uh, the two-factor authentication there and once you're logged in if you have a look on the top left uh, see there are that little green arrow just if you hover over that you'll see another drop down box uh, falls down with activity trade confirmation etc just click on activity and then across over to statements so if you click on the statements there um, there will be another section where you can fill out a few little details. The first thing you want to do is just under the account section there, where that's highlighted, you just want to make sure that the account that you're working on is actually highlighted. Even if you only have one account, you'll still need to select it. Otherwise, it won't know what account you're referring to. So just select that account and then come down to have a look um, at the dates. Just next to the dates, you can see the statements. Just leave that as default. And on statements, you can see it'll automatically be on daily. Just click on that and scroll down to fiscal year. We just want fiscal year and then select the relevant uh, year. Uh, it'll choose, it'll tell you the, uh, the end of the financial year. So that's the one that you select. And just as a side note, if for example, the last business day of the financial year might be for example, the 28th, but we need the information on the 29th and the 30th, just for record uh, keeping purposes, we just might ask you to generate a custom uh, report just for either that first week or the last week of the financial year, in which case you just select the custom date range um, and you whip it up and it won't take you more than uh, yeah, a couple of extra seconds to generate that other report. And on the format, go for PDF. And then once that's selected, just click the view button down the bottom. And then all of a sudden it'll generate the report and it'll ask you where you want to save it um, in your downloads or in a specific folder, wherever it is. Once you've got that, just uh, drag and drop that into the portal, uh, follow the instructions there on the portal, and you've generated your interactive brokers report. So pretty easy one there. Uh, any queries, let us know, and we'll be happy to help. We'll see you in the next video. Cheers.